Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna make some banana split cupcakes. Let's get started. So right here in a bag, I have some peanuts. I crushed them and now we're gonna work on the banana filling. Now I do have to say there's like about 4 million steps to these cupcakes. So everything you need will be in the description down below. And I hope you follow along and I hope you love these as much as we did. Okay, so now that I've got my bananas smashed up, I'm basically going to just add a few things to this and then set it to the side. Here we go. I have some butter melted and some brown sugar, a pinch of salt going in, and a little bit of vanilla extract. Now basically I'm going to give this a mix. Like I said, we're going to set this aside. There are about 4 million elements, so <laughs> here we go. In this bowl I have a cake mix. And in this bowl, I have a, I have two cups of melted ice cream and three large eggs. And now I'm just going to put in the banana filling that we made, the banana smash, mash, whatever you want to call it. We're going to put that in and we're going to do a full mix here. Now you want to also make sure that you are scraping down the sides of the bowl. And then I'm just going to add a few extra things. I added in a little bit of vanilla extract right there. And now some of those smashed peanuts that we were working on first. And we're just going to give that another mix. Now I've transferred that cake batter, cupcake batter mixture to my uh, measuring cup. And I am spilling it everywhere. So do better than me. And basically we're just gonna fill these up three-fourths of the way and then we are gonna clean up all of the edges because we don't want anything to burn and we're gonna tap these down to get rid of any of the air bubbles that may be in the batter. Now these went into a 350 degree oven and they were in there for 19 minutes and now we're just checking them with a toothpick and the toothpick should be clean a few crumbs is okay but nothing liquid. Okay guys, now we're gonna move on to the chocolate sauce. Right here I just have my cocoa powder and my sugar and I am putting it into a saucepan. Right here I have some instant coffee powder. Some instant espresso powder would also work very well here. And now we're going in with a pinch of salt. And here is our milk. So we're just gonna put everything into the pan and we are going to bring this up to a boil and after it's boiled, we are going to boil it for about six to eight minutes, somewhere in there. And you wanna make sure you are stirring the entire time. Don't stop stirring this because it could overflow or it could scorch, you don't want that. Now after it's been cooking, I like to put in a tab of butter and a little bit of vanilla extract and there's the finished chocolate sauce. Now we're gonna put that to the side. Now we're gonna start on our pineapple sauce. So I have some crushed pineapple right there, some sugar going in, another pinch of salt going in, and we are going to stir and we are going to cook this for about, this one took about 10 to 12 minutes because you wanna get rid of most of the liquid and you're concentrating the flavors as you're doing that. So bring that up to a boil, simmer it on low, like 10, 12 minutes until almost all the liquid is gone. And then I add in, you guessed it, another tab of butter and we're gonna give this a nice stir. Then we're going to set that aside. Now we're going to the strawberry sauce. So I just have some strawberries that have been rinsed and have. Here goes some white sugar. Another pinch of salt. I know you guys, we're just gonna keep rinsing and repeating here. And now here we have some water. And again, don't forget all of the amounts will be in the description down below. And now we're going to give this a stir, bring it up to a boil, and we are gonna simmer this. This one took about 10 minutes. And while I was simmering, I made sure that I was stirring every couple of minutes, probably every minute. And then I like to smash it down a little bit. Feel free to puree this and strain it if you need to, or you don't like the chunks, however you like it, guys. So now that this sauce is almost complete, 
we are going to well actually i guess it is complete i don't know i thought i was going in with some butter there guys <laughs> but it's complete so now we're going to put that to the side and we are going to work on our whipped cream so now we just have some heavy whipping cream i'm going to put this in a bowl this is chill and we are going to start mixing this i pulled out my electric mixer from like 1987 and we're just going to give this a great mix and when i'm almost done with it i'm going to slowly add in some sugar some salt and some vanilla i also want to point out guys that if you don't make banana split cupcakes you could still just make the pineapple sauce the chocolate sauce the strawberry sauce they're all rock solid sauces so now i just wanted to take some of our strawberry sauce that we made earlier and i wanted to fold it through the whipped cream and that's where i was going to put the strawberry you could use the strawberry filling i mean the strawberry sauce as a filling or in the cupcake whipped cream like i am or just in any variation however you want guys so now i have those cupcakes they are chilled and i am going to hollow out the center with a knife And now you can fill it with either the pineapple, the strawberry, the chocolate, however you want to fill it. I'm going to fill mine with the pineapple. I just put every sauce inside of a Ziploc. I cut the tip off and now this is the one I'm going to use for my filling. But like I said, you could use this for anything else too. This would go great on ice cream. And you could fill this cupcake with the strawberry filling instead. You could fill it with the chocolate, whatever you like, guys. So now we're going to go in with the whipped cream and I just want to say I am by no means a decorator here so you know yours will look better than mine <laughs> and after the whipped cream I just went ahead and I put the crushed peanuts now I'm going in with the chocolate sauce and then I'm going to go in with some shaved chocolate <laughs> and then I found a nice little candy from the store. So there you go guys there are my banana split cupcakes. Thanks for watching and don't forget to come back to my kitchen anytime.